Hello, today we're gonna be building a house in The Sims 4, but the challenge is that each room is a different aesthetic. So let's go. Alrighty, so here I am on my little lodge, and here is the beautiful house. I just made something in a hurry, really. Um, <laughs> but here is the layout of the house. We have the hallway slash entryway, the living room, the kitchen, dining room, and a little boot room. Is that what it's called? Probably not, but that is connected to the kitchen. So it's one room, people, one room. And then upstairs, we have a hallway, a bathroom, a primary bedroom, and an office ensuite bathroom, a teen bedroom, and a nursery. Whoa, and that was the layout. So let's go into our little spin spinny wheel and see what we will get. All right, so here I am in my spin spinny wheel and I've written down a lot, a lot of different aesthetics. Now, I don't know what most of these are. All right, I just went to a list and I wrote down what I saw. Oh, and this challenge was voted on in my little poll or my community post. And this challenge had the most votes, at least when I checked it. Maybe something else has more votes right now, but I don't know, okay? <laughs> so um yeah thank you for voting on that it's all on you this build just think about that it's all on you i mean if you voted for it of course but let's spin for the first spin of the day and that's gonna be for the exterior and the landscaping of the house so let's spin the wheel Ooh, light academia i'm not really sure what that means i know what dark academia is but i'm not really sure what light academia is is it the same just light i mean i guess it is so it's like old stony houses i see what it is so well let's start shall we we freaking shall. We're gonna start with some wallpaper first because uh, why wouldn't we? That would be strange to not start with that. And what do we want? What do we want? Ooh, I think this one from the castle kit. That could be something. But has that vibe? Yeah. And then we need a little roof. So maybe I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna lower it down because that's scary. And then in front here, I can have a little funky moment. And my plan for this little outside bit was actually a chimney. But since it's supposed to be like a light academia moment, maybe we can get some towers in here with some spiky roof. And how am I gonna do that? Nora asked herself. Yeah, I can go something like so with the spiky roof, maybe. Actually, I think we can make another little tower right here. Oh, if I can freaking do it. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I like that. I like that vibe. All right, what more do I need to do? I'm gonna put up this foundation so we can have some stairs to get into this place, you know? And then we need some windows. And what windows could be good for this place? Maybe the windows from Discover University. They could be a vibe, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I like that. If I can place them correctly, I'm like, Gosh. Oh, and then I can't forget the freaking boot room. So I need to have a door there and a little foundation with some stairs so they can get out, you know, so they can get out. And on this part, we can have a little balcony. That's always fun. Oh, I deleted the wall. Okay, right there. But yeah, just a teeny tiny balcony like this. I think that would be cute. And what else can I do to spice this place up? Maybe, maybe some columns. I could add some contrast, some good, good contrast we need up in there. Oh, this could be either very nice or very, very ugly. Gonna be no in between this thing. <laughs> oh, and I freaking forgot got the windows for the towers. Well, I'm gonna use these windows from the castle kit because I do think they look nice. Stunning even. Stunning. And then to top it all off with, I'm gonna put up some vines. My beautiful, beautiful vines. So I'm gonna be putting that up and it's gonna be lovely. Alrighty, so this is how the house is looking so far. And I need, oh, I need a drink. Alright, now we're gonna move on to landscaping and ooh we. Why did I place my house there? That was a great question. Why? Because <laughs> the lot is facing this way. That was an interesting choice by Nora actually. Why did I I do that. Did I have plans and just forget about it? I'm not, uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask Nora afterwards. But let's start off with putting up a fence. That's always a good start. I'm gonna fence the whole place in. And then what do I want to do? All right, I need some more inspiration for this. So we have this picture, which is lovely. And then we have this person who just says, I live in Massachusetts. Thank you for that information. Oh, wow. Is that AI? Here I go again with the AI and Pinterest. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that sort of vibe. Not that intense, but that sort of vibe. Okay, good. Inspiration time is over, people. I think I'm just gonna start with sketching things out just so I know where we're at, you know? So I think we're gonna have a pathway here. And then we can have a big circle in the middle with a fountain or something. And then we can have some sort of pathway that leads up there. And a pathway that leads up there. And maybe we could have a little gazebo here. That could be something. And then some flower beds in here. And then we can have some sort of gate right there. And then something in that corner. Ooh, and then we can have a little pond moment right there. And then something there. Sure, that's my sketching. Isn't it beautiful? But I think that's what I'm gonna do. So here is the little fountain. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna plop it down right there. And then I just need to draw down the pathway for real this time. Very nice and neat. Very nice and neat. Okay, are you kidding me? Hold on. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. I gotta explain. I just drew up the pathways real neat and nice, okay? And then I say
played and turned off the game for a hot minute because I had to go upstairs and eat my lunch. And then when I came back, the pathway has turned into dirt. I used this pathway. What happened? I am actually so confused. Do I seriously have to do this all over again? It took such a long time as well. Oh no. Well, okay, let's just ignore the pathways for now. Let's ignore it and just hope that it comes back magically. Maybe it will. I am going to put in the fence for a little flower beds that was going to be in here. And what fence do I want to use? Good question or a good question. I think I'm going to use this fence. Then I'm just going to make some shapes. Maybe like so. And there are my flower beds. <laughs> oh, this place looks horrible with those pathways. But I refuse to do it all over again. I'm revolting. Right now, before I begin with anything else, I'm going to put up some bushes. These ones, I do believe. Just around the whole fence. For the ambiance, people. For the ambiance. And what an ambiance it was, people. What an ambiance it was. <laughs> right, let's start working on this gazebo. What vibe do I want it to be in? Good question. But going to be a normal gazebo, I do think. What even is a normal gazebo? Questions of life. Questions of Nora. All right, here is my little gazebo. And I'm not happy with it because... Uh, <laughs> I wanted the columns to be in the same series as the fence and everything else. But those columns are so massive. And it's just... Uh, I need to think about that. There's a lot to think about in there. Okay, it is. What do I want in here, actually? I'm going to put in the easel and a little bench right there. Little bench moment. So, yeesh. And then we can have another little bench out here. So they can look at the nice dirt patch and the imaginary flowers. Nice. Any hoozles, let's start working on these flower beds. And I think I want something spectacular in there. Besides from flowers. We're gonna have flowers, of course. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a flower bed. But I want to have a little statue in the middle. And then we can have this lady in there. And then around it, we can have these grass patches, maybe. And then we just have a bunch of flowers sitting like so. Could that be a vibe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And oh, wow, oh, wow. My beautiful flower patches. Isn't that something to behold? And now for the pathways, the mud pathways. <laughs> I'm going to change it up in and I'm, I promise. But for my mud patches, I need to frame it in. And I could either go with some stones or those freaking debug packages. Or I can go the boring route, some fences. Or I could do something else. And what can that be? Okay, what if I use tombstones? Is that going to be a ridiculous idea? But what if I take this tombstone and then I elevate it down so only the top is showing? I mean, it looks kind of cute, doesn't it? If you just ignore the fact that they are tombstones, you know? Oh, and would you look at that? My original pathway is back again. Thank you. I just logged in and out of the game again. And it's back, people. Now, let's uh, put up the freaking tombstones. And we're gonna have a fun, fun time with that. I don't know why I'm putting myself through this. I really don't know why. It's gonna take so much time. And it's gonna take all my mental capacity. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> just for the ambiances, I'm gonna do it. All right. So here is my pathway <laughs> with all the tombstones. And I also put up some little grass patches around it. And <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. It took such a long time. But anyways right here i'm thinking of putting up this little archway and some bushes to make a little fence moment and i'm gonna do that on the other side as well you know that's what nora does setting up a lot of stuff and i'm also just gonna put up a lot a lot of plants around this place just around the house around every nook and cranny there is gonna be a plant and that is indeed what she did she put up a lot of plants and rocks just around the house and every nook and cranny all right let's move on to the little pond on the side here i need to make a pond and i'm terrible at making ponds but i'm gonna try my best i i really am so there's the start of my pond and now i'm gonna put some rocks around it and some plants and whatever you have in ponds it's gonna be lovely i mean isn't that a cute little pond i think it's a cute little pond <laughs> and then i'm gonna put up some more flowers in every nook and cranny that nora can find it's gotta do it and here are the plants that i put up i even put up a little well a wishing well in the corner there and a lot more plants around this place i got a little bench for a lovely moment oh wow and now i need to put up some more pathways and maybe just maybe I can put up some different colors in the grass. You know, the stripy things that you see in very rich neighborhoods. But I think that I'm going to do that in the end. Because, hear me out, I am so scared of messing up what I have right now. Because apparently there is a glitch, for me at least. So I'm really scared that if I put up more pathing and stuff, that everything will just go wrong. So I'm going to do that in the end. Because I am really scared, okay? But here is the exterior and the landscaping of this house finished. And I don't even want to say how many hours. I've used. I've used way too many hours, actually. But, uh, you know, it's looking so cute now. Maybe I should have something here because it looks kind of empty. But I've used so much time on this. And I have uh, so many rooms to do, you know? But let's move on inside, okay? Let's do that. And we're gonna begin with the entryway. Oh, we freaking shall. Spin the wheel! Ooh, 
How do you even say that word? Okay. Okay. I think I nailed it. <laughs> Forget the cooking aesthetic. It's sort of like this. This is one of the styles that I'm not really that familiar with, but it sure is something. So I think first off, we're going to change the walls to something pink. What about this? Hmm. I can start off with this sort of wallpaper. That seems nice enough. And then, since this is a hallway, we need some sort of hallway table. What about this? That seems fancy enough. And then we just have to put some little nicky knacks on there. You know, you know? Oh, this is looking really cute. Look, even the little coin uh, mess over there is pink. I like that very much, actually. Oh, and then over in this corner, we could have some sort of fancy couch. You know, one of those old-timey oh, couches. I hope you know what I mean, because I don't really know what I mean. <laughs> Do we have one of those? Oh, this one from Love Struck. Can you see that happening for us? This sort of vibe. And in this corner, I know exactly what I want. That little shelf thingy from high school years. What is it? Give it to me. This one right here. Oh, very nice. And then we need to put some little Nicky Knacks in there. And what am I thinking of? I need something pink. Something fabulous. Maybe I can put up a little cute bunny. Some books. Some flowers. You know, you know. Okay, so I put up all my Nicky Knacks. And I've also put up a little toilet roll. Now, hear me out. It's pink and it has some flowers on it, okay? I think it fits the vibe. Do not ask any more questions about that. And I can put up this table. And then we can have some flowers on there or something. And then in this corner, we can put up a little mirror. Oh, that's very shabby. Do we have anything else? No, not really. Well, it's gonna be that. And then we need some very pretty um, wall art or something. Can I find anything like that? Oh, we have this. Uh, do we have anything better? That's my concern. I mean, yeah, I couldn't find anything better. So I just put up this and then some of that. And a little bow, you know, got some shoes, got some mail, got some pictures. <laughs> All right. So that was the little hallway, entryway, something in the okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry for butchering that word, but that's a hard word for Nora. So now we shall move on to the living room. Spin that wheel. Oh, clean girl. Clean girl. It's a micro trend that focuses on a minimalist and fresh approach to beauty and fashion. Ooh. Yeah, the clean girl aesthetic is just very white. It kind of reminds me of the sad beige mom. That it honestly does. So first off, we gotta start with some white walls. Um, oh, what am I gonna do with that part of the room? Because I don't feel like a clean girl would have these sort of windows, you know? That kind of ruins the vibe. What if I just close this off? Because I feel like that's something a clean girl would do. We've all seen those house renovations on TikTok, okay? We've all seen them and they ruin everything. They do. So I feel like that's reasonable for them. I think I talked myself out of that. I think I did. So the couches. What do we want for the couches? Maybe the couch from Booknook? And then we can just have these two little chairs over there maybe. Ooh, and then we need a coffee table. What kind of coffee table would suit this place? I need a kind of a funky coffee table, but not too funky, but a little bit funky. You know what? I'm gonna go with this uh, coffee table. I think it suits the vibe. And you know what? I'm gonna give them this TV. But in what color? Oh, the choices. Maybe just this or this. I don't, I don't know. One of those at least. Gonna think of that. And I'm gonna put in something funky on that little table. I'm gonna put up a funky, funky vase in white. This one. I think that's what Haley people would have, you know? Just this random funky vase. But in white. No other colors allowed. Now, what am I gonna do in this corner of the room? What is Nora supposed to do? Maybe a little desk area? Because I do like to work in style. And a funky, but not too funky computer. That one. And a chair. What about this one? Eh, I have to think about that. But what they do have, they always have a what about a, a what about a. Ooh, what about right here? We can put up that bookshelf that I haven't used yet. This one from one of the kits. The many, many kits. I cannot remember which one this kit was from. <laughs> but one of them. Oh, and in this space, we can put up this mirror that I haven't used yet. Oh, this is the time, people. This is the time to be alive. Oh, and in this corner, we can put up some workout stuff, maybe? Because I always work out. That's what I always see. But I don't think I have space to put in like real workout equipment. So maybe I just have to put in some fake ones. And isn't that poetry? <sighs> maybe. <laughs> Oh yeah, some sweet, sweet workout gear <laughs> in that sad side corner. Oh, and I need to put up some more decorations on this uh, little desk. I forgot about that. Oops. And here we have the very, very clean girl living room. Oh, we are wow. It looks very clean. And I think that's the point. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen. And what is the kitchen gonna bring us? One, two, three, spin that wheel. Oh my gosh, kawaii. Kawaii? Oh my gosh, that's another word. I'm sorry. I mean, the kawa <laughs> kawaii <laughs> aesthetic. It's very cute. It's very maximalist, I would say. And it's obviously Asian inspired. <laughs> but I don't know how this is going to work for a kitchen. I really don't know. But I'm going to try my best. So for the counters, do we have any pink counters? No. What about some purple? No, but it was blue. Ooh, okay, we can go with these. That's not that bad. What about some fridges? Do we have any pink fridges? Oh, we do have that. Oh, 
Beautiful. What about a pink stove? Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, do we have any nice wallpaper though? That is a great question. What if I go with this one, but just in another color? I think I like that. That could be a vibe. If you just put in some nice flooring as well. It could be something, okay? Right now it's looking like a mess, but it could actually be something, people. It could. And uh, right here, I'm gonna put up a little coffee corner because it fits in. Okay, right. Now I have to find a lot of decorations for this place. It has to be cute. Oh, good lord. What if I just put in this one? That's cute. That's an alarm clock. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, and now we need a coffee machine, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? And I'm gonna do my little trick. So I'm gonna put this coffee machine on a random counter. And I'm gonna place it where I want it. And then I'm gonna get my tool mod. And now I'm gonna choose the counter that I want to remove. If I can. Oh my gosh, why is this not working? There we go. Then I scale it down to 0 0.1. And boop, it's gone. And it sits there perfectly. Now back to the decorations. I need to find me some cute decorations. I feel like I found the most random stuff. But some of it makes sense, okay? And so some other stuff doesn't really make sense, but um, it's cute and I like it and that's all that matters. <laughs> right, now for this coffee corner, what do we need in here? We need some more Nikki Nacks at least. And then I was uh, thinking of putting up some little shells up here. And then we can put some coffee cups on there and some plates maybe and some other Nikki Nacks just for the coffee corner. Because that's what a coffee corner needs. Oh my gosh, that's looking so cute actually. I love it. And then I can put up this cute trash can. Oh, and this carpet. And maybe this cute little cart over there. Oh, yes. And this cute little mirror. <laughs> what about this nightlight? And then we need some curtains. And ooh, can I please put up this curtain? I know it's ugly. But like, this is the only time that I'm gonna get to use this one, okay? Please let me have this one, please. Okay, now for this little, um, what do you call this in English? Like a boot room? Probably not. But in this room, what do we need now? <gasps> Can I put up this one? I, I am gonna put up that one. And then I'm gonna put up this wall mirror with some little cute stuff on it. I mean, that is so cute. <laughs> I love that. And then on the other side here, we can have a little shoe moment with some shoes. I mean, who would have thunk it, really? Alrighty, so that was the kitchen. And I think it's looking so cute in here. I mean, look at that. This is such a cute old kitchen. This little boot room too. I know the plant is digging through. I'm gonna fix that in the end. All right, let's move on to the dining room let's spin that wheel oh <laughs> hipster <laughs> it isn't really a popular style anymore but i just wanted to include it in from my childhood <laughs> i wasn't a part of it i just looked at it but i think hipster has a lot of different variations and meanings but what i'm gonna focus on is the industrial style moment with their freaking bikes on the walls and their typewriter they like the old timey stuff and that's the truth Alrighty, so the flooring and wallpaper i can go with this Sort of vibe and then maybe just a full-on brick wall uh-huh that's enough exposed brick for us and before i do anything else i'm gonna put a freaking bike on the wall because i really do think we have to at this point okay they love their bikes on the wall all right they do so there you go and this is a dining room so we need a dining table and they do like their freaking typewriter so i'm gonna give them a typewriter computer mm -hmm. and then of course we can't each forget the freaking vinyl player mm -hmm. and then on this wall right here we can put up some shelves like so and then i'm gonna put up some little memorabilia on there and that includes this freaking fossil with a mustache on it and this camera because they love to take pictures and another typewriter <laughs> and then another old timey camera right along there and just some more magazines okay they they, they, they like they like stuff and uh, now i need some curtains actually what type of curtains would they like <gasps> maybe they should just not have any curtains at all because they don't believe in curtains i mean that's a very hipster move maybe i'm gonna go with that well, Mush, there is the hipster dining room. Oh, we, oh, wow. Oh, I need to fix that. Oopsie. But yeah, hipster freaking dining room. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the upstairs hallway. And what is this gonna bring us? Let's spin that wheel. <gasps> Art something. I'm afraid to say that word. I know that it's not technically a bad word, but you never know with YouTube. You never, never know. Uh -huh. So art he, that's what I'm gonna call it. This is art he aesthetic. Based around a love for art, a connection to nature, painting in flowers, and is symbolized by African-American women who love art and nature. Yeah, I remember. Oh my gosh. What a time to be alive. But yeah, there's a lot of art, a lot of plants, a lot of stuff, and they love Vincent van Gogh. I'm sorry, I cannot say it in real Dutch. <laughs> Vincent van Gogh. Well, let's make this a little room. So, first off, I'm gonna start with a desk. I know, surprise, surprise. Why would you start with a desk in an art hole room? Then I went to a chair in a primary color. I was about to ask the question, what is the primary color? And I'm not allowed to ask that question because I have a degree in graphic design. <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to ask that. <laughs> no. Nora, get here. Ah! 
freaking stuff together and I will everything fell down. Oh, I can put up this chair. That's red. And then I can spice it up with a pillow. And on that desk, I'm gonna put up some Nikki Nacks. And what do I want? Well, I want some statues at least. That I can also have some books. A mug. I want some more plants. Okay. Get to work, Nora. It's your time to shine. All right, so this is what I put up this far. You know, just some wild stuff. Then I'm thinking on that wall, I want a lot of little pictures. Oh, and a cork board with some uh, postcards and stuff. Yeah. And then I make a collection of uh, postcards and <laughs> wall stuff. All right, in this corner, I can put up a stuffily with that called in English again? Easel. There we go. And the other painting uh, table. This one. Oh, and I can put up some books right there <gasps> with a little flower on it. And I can put up these plant things. Oh, that window is not centered. Oh, jeez. How is that going to look on the outside? Oh, no. Okay, I got to figure that out later. Oh. All right. So in this corridor, I'm going to put up some bookshelves from the book nook kit, if I can find them. And then I'm going to find some sweet, sweet naked and axe to put on those shelves. And there is my bookshelf with all the naked and axe. Wrong. You know, I got some plants, some vases, some boxes, stuff. Yeesh. All right, now I need to find some paintings to put on the walls. And can I find that? Okay, so I found some Van Gogh. <laughs> found some Vincent paintings. Me and Vincent are on their first name basis now, so I'm gonna call him Vincent. Found some Vincent paintings. <laughs> and this was uploaded by Fruit Lips 40 so I'm gonna put that in. And I also found some more Van Gogh paintings by Blush Nugget, so I'm gonna put that in too. I think I can put the iconic painting right there. And I can put up a painting right there too. I mean, that's not the right colors, are they? Or have I gone colorblind? I'm not sure. And I've also put up some more paintings here too. And some more paintings here too. And paintings. 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 Paintings all around town. And I think this uh, hallway is looking very, very cute. I mean, oh, look at it. What a freakity, freakity hallway. Indeed. All right, let's move on to the next room. And I think we're going to move on to this bathroom maybe. So what is that going to be? One, two, three. Spin that wheel. Oh, visco girl. Visco freaking girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> they do like their wall collages. And their little cute neon lights and lightning bolts and stars and clouds. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of pictures. Okay, I think I can make something happen. I mean, I really have to make something happen or else this would be a very boring video. Oh, what if you put up this one? Funky, I think. I hope. <laughs> and then this area can be the little shower area. So we can put this in. That's a very nice shower. And then right here can be the sink area. And I am going to put up some fancy, fancy mirrors. Well, now they don't really match, but they have stickers on them and that's all that matters, okay? They love the stickers. Visco girls love their stickers. They do. And then right here, we need a toilet. Of course, this wouldn't be a bathroom without a toilet. All right, it wouldn't. So, ooh, what if we get this toilet? That's very up and about there, but I think it, I think it will suit this place. And then we can have a little heart picture collage of the toilet with this star light. I mean, that's really something. And <laughs> what if on the side here, we have a little table or something with some stuff on that? And as you can see, I put up a little friendship bracelet box because they, they, they like that. And why is it so bright in that shot? Tower. I'm confused. Well, I'm gonna put up this thing and I'm also gonna put up some towels and above those towels I'm gonna put up a little shell and then I'm gonna have some little shower nickety knacks on that because they need shower nickety knacks They do and what if I put up this little <laughs> picture string thing in the shower? That is um very dangerous but <laughs> Okay, and then just some more wall art that I feel like it's very fiscal girlish a British and now since they love that wall collage the picture wall collage with all the funky posters I need to do the same so that means that I have to find a lot of cool posters and what a job that's gonna be <laughs> and you know what there is my little picture collage that took way longer than it needed to okay it took way longer than it needed to <laughs> and that me friends was the visco girl bathroom oh my gosh i kind of like it actually it's very very out there you can see that a teen lives here that, that's for sure but um yeah cool beans what room are we gonna move on to next oh i think we're gonna move on to the primary bedroom and let's spin the wheel Ooh. Cottage core. I love me some cottage core. Who would have thunk it that this could happen to Anora? All right, so the cottage core, it has these sort of vibes. Like good, good vibes. <laughs> All right, let's make the primary bedroom. So I think I want to go for the cottage living wallpaper and flooring. Classic move. And then for the bed, I'm thinking this pink one actually. Or blue. No, I'm going to go pink. Then I actually want a sitting area by the end of the bed. Where can I find that? Oh my gosh, where is it? This one. That can fit in here nice and neatly. Yeah. And then for the nightstands, I am going to put in the nightstands from the same pack because they they fit all right they do my little bed section got some little bedside nicky knacks on each side looking nice and funky and then i need to put up a dresser so maybe this one in a nice color oh yeah what else can i put on there some books maybe some plants I think so oh my gosh isn't that looking so cute actually oh and then in this corner i am thinking of putting up a little bookshelf right there is that okay yeah i think that's okay with some cute little farms 
see in the kitty next in the like so and in that corner we need a chair and a little table and what can we put on that table i don't know you know what i think is so annoying is that when you copy something like this one and then you're trying to find it in the catalog but you can't see it like where is it where is the thing that i just copied what like what but you know what on that table i'm gonna put up this little tea set Mom. <laughs> what else do we need now i'm gonna put up a little bucket because i love me buckets he really does love her bucket and that was the cottage go primary bedroom wow it's so cute and cozy in here i love the cottage core vibes i love the cottage living pack always good times and now we're gonna move on to the ensuite bathroom one two three spin the wheel oh plant mom oh that's cute i don't really know what it means but i like it all right all right all right it's just a lot of plants what else would it have been nora what else would it have been that's what i want to know <laughs> i think i'm gonna use this floor because that's just a nice and cozy floor and then we need some nice and cozy walls and the nice and cozy walls are gonna be this boom and then for the layout of this bathroom that's always fun i am not good with bathrooms for some reason bathrooms just scares me so what do i want maybe i can have the bathtub there and then i can have the toilet there and what am i gonna do with the sinks just like that now that's gonna look weird because there's so much uh, space there oh you know what i can do what if i do something like so and create a little moment like that that could be fun if I change the color. Oh, and then I can have this carpet. Does that fit? I think so. All right, let's get a mirror in here as well. And I think, or do I? I think, yeah, I think that mirror fits in. That was a lot of thinking for one mirror. It was. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put in some soap and some other bathroom nicky knacks. Just the necessities and the unnecessities. Just a lot of necessities. What is happening with my brain today? What, what, what was that? And then in that corner, it looks kind of empty. So what if? What if, people? What if I put up this one? Wouldn't that be fun for us? Wouldn't that be fun? Can I put some on that some sweet sweet plants yeah i think that looks nice and then i can also put that little plant on the bathtub <laughs> and another little plant and just right there <laughs> and you know what else i'm gonna do just to fit the maximum amount of plants in here that we possibly can i'm gonna put up some shelves and i'm gonna put it up here and in that corner right there and i just flew around the room and also a little shelf right there and we're gonna have so many plants on those shelves we are i mean look at all the freaking plants that i put in here that is actually insane how many plants i put in here you know i even got one on the toilet but i think it's looking cute all right now we're gonna move on to this room which is the teen bedroom so let's spend our wheel oh grunge okay 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 let me some grunge look at those rooms now of course grunge is gonna mean different things to different people but i'm just gonna do the most stereotypical grunge uh, style that we know of today all right now grunge has some very anti-capitalistic values so maybe we should give them this bed because they don't believe in hair buds you know maybe i should also put some wallpaper on some flooring oh my god what wallpaper though maybe this one that's very grunge like and some grunge flooring oh yes grunge vibes all around and then what about the nightstand maybe just a crate again and then maybe a little guitar and some nighttime table stuff nighttime table stuff nora please <laughs> learn words oh and in that little gap i can put up this and that other thing this one just to fill up that space really and then we can put some like grungy nicky knacks on that some cds maybe some shoes a little plant just a teeny tiny plant and you know what that's what she did we put up some grunge Stuff. all right what are we gonna do now we need something in that corner so maybe a little bean bag i think they like their bean bags and then we can have like an amp stack there or something and i think that is a nice idea by nora got an amp stack and then a little dirty coffee mug with some writing stuff and some magazines you know they have been writing the song lyrics in here <laughs> oh and in this corner we can have a bookshelf maybe and do we have a very scrounged up bookshelf oh we have this one from discover university actually that fits in here very nice and neatly actually and then i want to put in a little desk here so what about this scrounged up desk <laughs> with a really uncomfortable chair and a very cheap computer how about that i think that looks very nice <laughs> oh and this room doesn't have a dresser oh and people do get mad when i don't put in dresses that i've heard so what if i just put in this suitcase you can use it as a dresser okay and you cannot complain anymore now for my final step i need to put a lot a lot a lot of posters in here so i need to find me posters i can put in that one that's very edgy and of course some cds and some more scrounged up stuff and should we put up this one <laughs> with all the cross out faces and stuff i think i have to there you go and then oh the curtains what am i gonna do for the curtains what do grunge people have 
those curtains. Okay, what if we just put up this little tarp? That seems like something that we do. No more questions, please. No more questions. Ooh, and this tapestry, beautiful, magnificent. And what am I going to do for these windows? Because I don't think a tarp is going to fit. No, that's going to look ridiculous. Ugh, what would a grunge person have in here? Maybe just some blinds? I don't know. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, <laughs> but all right, here is the grunge person's room. I love it, actually. I mean, look at this. This is fantastic. Especially this corner. That's fantastic. And no, they don't have a carpet because they're too cool for carpets, okay? <laughs> okay. And now we're going to move on to the last room of this house, which is the nursery. So let's spin that wheel. Oh, God. Um, I'm going to be honest here and say that I um, I was not prepared for that. Goth baby. Uh, all right. So let's look up a goth room. I mean, what would you expect? It's very goth. And now we're just going to put a baby in there. That sounded weird. All right. Let's uh, let's crack on with this. And our front door is coming through the wall. Well, that's not good. What? How did... That's not my problem. I'm gonna put in some black flooring and some nice wallpaper. What about this? No, a better wallpaper. This. Eh, sure. Then we need a crib. Nice, nice crib. Do we have a goth crib? Oh, we have this from Vampires. That's right. Oh, I like that. And then, actually, next to the crib, what if I put up these little shelves and just hear me out, okay? Hear me out. What if I put these candelabras on there? No questions, please. No questions. That is spooky. That is goth. I like it. Maybe these claw marks as well. And of course, a nice car, but we cannot forget about that. Oh, and everything get this cute little teddy bear in the corner little bat one and then we need a closet and this one is very very scary and a very very scary chair <laughs> oh and then i can put up this table right here and need to size it down a little bit and we can have some little baby naked and eggs wow and then what if we have this beautiful picture on the wall the baby might like that and i can put up some books right there i just need to lower them down a little bit like so i think that could be something you know parent is sitting there reading to their goth baby right and then what if on that door we put this little um whatever this is <laughs> on the door it could be something people it could be something then we need something to put there and it can't be a lamp because we already have two ones and it can't really be a plant because that's not goth so what can we put in there all right i found something to put in that corner and um hear me out okay just hear me out um i'm gonna put in this Nice. Moving on. Oh, that was the last room of the house, wasn't it? I think it was. Oh, jubilee. All right. I am going to fix up all the things that I needed fixing up, especially the garden with the pathways and stuff. And then I do believe it's time for a little house tour. Oh, yes, it is. Well, hello, hello. It's the next day. I somehow forgot to film the house tour yesterday. After I was done with the garden, I just logged off and skedaddled away. So, yeah, it's the next day and I'm not turning on my camera. I do not want to because it's like nine in the morning and uh, that's not happening. All right. <laughs> This is the front of the house, the front garden. And as you can see, I put in an extra little flower bed moment in there. Because it looked very empty with just um, one of them, you know, on each side. It looked very empty, so I put in one more. And here is my gazebo. And it looks kind of weird with this filter. And there's also a roof tile glitch, at least for me. <laughs> so the glitch is whenever I put on white roof tiles, it just becomes completely white. Like blinding white. So I don't know what's happening with that. But yeah, I just changed it up a lot little bit still don't know if i like it still don't know but anyways here we are back to the garden or back to the garden we were always in the garden people we were always in the garden all right what am i even saying at this point i don't know but yeah here's the house with all its vines and all the plants that you could ever want and my little bench and i also put in some stripes in the grass you can't really see it but they're there <laughs> oh i'm floating away what is happening okay let's look at another side of the house here's the other side of the house um oh yikes my little pathway oh and my little bench on my pond oh wow i like it in here and i also put in the little tree there i thought that was missing from this place a tree you know and there is uh, the back side of the house looking nice and funky and here's my wishing well wow and yet again another side of the house oh my okay so let's uh, step on inside uh, shall we wow here is my entryway my sweet sweet entryway nothing more to say about that let's step into the living room <laughs> oh cute i kind of like this even though it's very boring very plain i do kind of like it you know looking cute looking cute got my little exercise equipment in there you know okay let's go into the kitchen and oh my why is this so cute i love this kitchen that is adorable actually on the other side of the kitchen as well adorable i love it oh my <gasps> this is such a cute room oh okay let's step into the dining room oh the very hipster dining room <laughs> it's my dining table 
people <laughs> got my bike, got my guitar and my record player, my exposed brick, you know? Oh, the ceiling is glitched. Again, wonderful. But yeah, in my last build, the ceiling wasn't glitched. So I thought that they had fixed it, but uh, apparently not. It's glitched again. But let's walk up the stairs. Oh, it is my arch hee room. <laughs> Hallway. Oh, I did not paint that wall. Okay. But yeah, I love this. I especially love this corner. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. And more painting stuff. And the bookshelf with all the little nicky knacks on it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then if you go in here, we will see the very visco bathroom. I think, actually, this is my favorite room. I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I love this room. Okay. Like the shower, the toilet. It has some good vibes in here. Okay, it has. Let me try to get a very wide angle. Oh, wow. That was a wide fish angle. Ooh. Yeah, let me have this room, which is the primary bedroom. And this room is just so cozy. Oh, ignore the ceiling. It's ruining everything. <laughs> Got my little name. Got my clock. Got everything. Oh, and then we're going to step into the ensuite bathroom. Oh, look at all them plants. <laughs> Yo, Joe. This is also one of my favorite rooms. Who would have guessed that two of my favorite rooms would be bathrooms? But, um, how we are, you know? <laughs> oh, I love that. Let's go into the next room. And that's going to be the grunge room. Oh, cool. Okay, I like this room as well. I like every room. <laughs> but yeah, this has some sweet, sweet wipes. This room. Some sweet, sweet wipes. My little bean bag. My sack. <laughs> that's actually amazing. I forgot about this room, but I like this room. And oh my gosh, the ceiling. Let's not. Nice and neat. Or not neat. Nice and messy. Okay, let's step on to the goth baby room. Oh my god. I, um, yeah, that, that was a room and a half. Um, <laughs> oh wow. Okay. I have no words. Okay, I, I, I just, I have no words. And uh, here's a little overview of all the rooms. If you would ever want that, you know, there it is. And now it's time for the outro, I do believe, because the house is done. All right, that was it for this time. I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I did. And if you for some reason went down to this house, it is up on my gallery and my gallery ID is just no gaming. And don't forget to like subscribe because it does really help me out. So um, thank you so much. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.